Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are looking at the world's first ever mass school shooting in history which was committed by someone into whom we all put our children's future and well-being on a daily basis. A teacher. Born in Slutzbergen on the 24th of September 1883, Heinz Jacob Friedrich Ernst Schmidt initially worked as a teacher in Slupsk, which is now in Poland. Described as an odd and shy individual, Schmidt had to quit his teaching job in May 1911 due to a mental breakdown. Schmidt was then sent to a sanatorium but was released shortly after, having been allegedly cured before taking another job as a teacher. He then quit his second job and moved to Bremen in December 1912. Having remained unemployed since he moved to Bremen, Schmidt noted in letters that he felt strong resentment against the Jesuits, a religious order of the Catholic Church founded on the 27th of September 1540, which today has 16,378 members. Schmidt called Jesuits a danger for the people and held them responsible for the death of his father, a Protestant clergyman, who died on the 19th of June 1913 with Schmidt being informed through a telegraph that afternoon. In a letter sent to his sister about his father's death, he declared the Jesuits did this. Even though Jesuit orders had been banned from the German Empire under the Jesuit law of 1872, people still harboured conspiracy theories about Jesuits in German society. Schmidt then purchased nearly 1,000 rounds of ammunition and several Browning pistols. The owner of two gun shops in Bremen reported Schmidt's excessive purchase to the local police. However, the incident was not found to be important and was not investigated further. Shortly before 11am on the 20th of June 1913, Schmidt entered the St. Mary's Catholic School in Bremen. In the hallway on the first floor, Schmidt encountered Maria Pohl, who was a teacher in the school. Pohl was lining her students up in two lines outside classroom 8B to leave the school building for recess. Schmidt stormed up the stairs and fired indiscriminately. Pohl then ran into the boys' classroom across the hall. The teacher in that room quickly barricaded the door, opened the window, and ordered the pupils to jump from the room down to the schoolyard. Schmidt then entered room 8B, occupied by 65 students. The six and seven-year-olds begged for their lives, while Schmidt killed two of them instantly and wounded another 15. Some girls fled the classroom with Schmidt chasing after them. One of the girls, Sophie Gornis Lerix, fell down the stairs, breaking her neck and dying. Schmidt went back up to the mezzanine level and attempted to enter another classroom which had been locked by the teacher. The school's janitor, Butts, and I do apologise but I could not find the individual's full name, ran into the building attempting to barricade Schmidt in an unoccupied room. Butts then jumped on top of Schmidt and attempted to tackle him. Schmidt shot through Butts' jaw which exited through his cheek. Butts lay unconscious but survived and Schmidt continued up the stairs of the school. Schmidt was tackled by Hubert Molman, a teacher, with Schmidt breaking free and shooting the teacher twice, once in his stomach and then again in the shoulder. Schmidt then shot through an open window aimed at children in the schoolyard, injuring five boys. The shots also wounded a roofer working nearby who had rushed to the school with other construction workers in an attempt to stop the killer. By this stage, concerned parents also began running to the school, bearing in mind that this was the first mass school shooting in the world, with passers-by forcing their way into the school in an attempt to overcome Schmidt, who by this stage was fighting against multiple people. Schmidt was beaten down with a pitchfork by a trainer, and after 15 minutes, Schmidt was arrested by police. Schmidt was met by an angry crowd who attempted to beat and lynch him, with police officers able to keep them at bay through using their sabres. Schmidt was taken to the police station. In total, Schmidt had fired 35 rounds with three victims killed and a further two individuals succumbing to their wounds. The previously mentioned Sophie gornis Luensk, Anna Kubia, who was age 7, Elsa Maria Hermann, who was also age 7, Maria Anna Reich, who was aged 8, and Elfridge Hodger, 
who, aged five, was the last to die in mid-July, four weeks after the shooting. More than 30,000 attended the funeral procession of the first three girls who were killed when they were brought to the cemetery. Public debates ensured over the killings with tighter weapon laws for the German Empire brought in as a result of a Bremen school shooting. Schmidt was examined at St. Jorgen Asylum in Ellen, where he was found to be insane. He remained in St. Jorgen Asylum, where he died on the 31st of March 1932 of tuberculosis. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favour and hit that like and subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. You'll also be seeing two other videos for you to check out. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.